welcome to your May 2021 general reading. This is going to be for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising. And this is going to cover everything that I don't cover in the love readings. Um, so just whatever comes out here. If you are looking specifically for a love reading, I have a ton of those already posted on my channel. Um, so I'll try to link it to the end if I don't have time. Just head back to the channel if you are looking for love-related readings, okay? As with all of my readings, I do answer a yes or no question for you at the end. So throughout the reading, try to think of a question that you might have that I can answer for you. It'll be the very last thing that I do. All right, so what I do here is I've pulled you a couple oracle cards. We will talk about those and then we will get into your regular tarot. All right, all right, here we go, guys. So first of all, from Angels and Ancestors, you have Autumn, Release the Old and Rest. So this is kind of, for me, this is like the energy of like the Ten of Wands in Tarot, right? It's releasing anything that's old, anything that's weighing you down, you don't need anymore. Um, clearing out your space physically and mentally, you know? All right. Release all of the pressure and expectation weighing you down. Shed it all so that you can recover before moving into a time of renewal. You know what's heavy. You know what's holding you back. Is it a person, a situation, a dream? Like the trees letting go of their leaves and fruit in the autumn, it's time to let go. When you hold on, you cannot control your reality. You try to control your reality and that never works. Well, I mean, kind of, kind of, that's my, my belief, kind of it's not. So... <laughs> Whatever your, belief system, whatever your belief system is, focus on that, okay? I think that you can control certain things and certain things you just have to go with the flow, basically. All right? You're being guided by your angels and nature herself in releasing whatever's stopping you from moving forward, and you can do this. All right. Um, also, since it is a seasonal card, regardless of the meeting, meeting, good Lord, meeting, Sagittarius, why? regardless of the meaning there may have autumn might be significant for you maybe something significant happened in the fall or will all right um from the star seed oracle we have high wraith this is longing for home homesick for the stars so you might just feel kind of like out of place in your life or just kind of like down um and honestly i think that it's going to be either because you're not where you're supposed to be um, or you're just carrying too much and you can't, you can't really focus on your own grounding and your own, you know, well-being because you're carrying something. You're carrying something that it's time to let go of. All right. Okay. Um, so basically the question here is how can you commit more fully to living your life? Like the way that you want it to be releasing anything that is not yours to carry that doesn't serve you releasing that and, and living your life the way that you want it so that you don't have this homesick feeling because it's already going to feel like home for you once you're living your purpose do you know all right this one's interesting <laughs> so you have from the viking oracle you have valkyries do you know who these people are guys if you have any knowledge of this at all um i mean that that's a pretty cool card to get it's a little uh heavy but I think it's pretty cool, all right? You can win the battle you face. Let go of your inner restrictions and of others' expectations. Explore your wild self. Redemption is always available. Be the hero in your own life. Through the blood and the screaming, I ride searching. Sweat tears, my horse rearing. I see you, brave dying, your hand still upon your sword. Pain creasing your face. You see me and all changes. A soft smile of redemption and recognition. I am Valkyrie. Okay, so this is basically, you have this longing for home, right? And you have this heaviness here. It's because, it's because there's some kind of battle, and I think it's, it's probably internal. I think it's because you might be living a way that's not right for you, and just kind of what everybody thinks you should be doing, what everybody wants you to be doing, right with this autumn energy this heaviness i don't think that what you're carrying is yours to carry i think it's other people's expectations i think it's the pressure from other people all right hopefully you're not physically ill if you are you're gonna be just fine okay all right here we go sagittarius 
Guys, your love readings, actually, I know this isn't one, but I just have to tell you, they are like off the charts amazing right now. So if you haven't checked them out and that's your thing, you might want to. All right, first out we have Virgo with the Hermit here, and I will show these to you once I get them all out. Ace of Cups, nice. Three of Wands, Knight of Swords, Five of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, the Empress, ooh, Four of Coins, Five of Wands, and the Two of Coins. I mean, this really, it looks exactly like what the oracle cards were telling us basically um all right let's start guys so you guys are coming in as the hermit right you guys are probably real isolated right now closing yourself off just and with this autumn energy like i said with it being for me like the ten of wands it's so heavy that you probably need to hide out for a little while all right this is going within it's trying to figure out what you what what is it what is it that you want what is it that you want out of life it's also trying to process why things happen. It's, it's to gain some wisdom, gain some knowledge, why you do things that you do, um, why things happen the way that they happen, right? Um, and you have it crossed by the Ace of Cups. So I think that there's a new opportunity here for you to do something that is really like something that you love to do. It's, it's, it's like following your heart energy. Um, I don't know that you're actually following your heart. I think that the problem is that you might not be. Um, and that's why everything's so heavy and there's so much pressure. When If you would just release other people's expectations, you know, grab this cup here. This is a new beginning being offered to you by the universe. And it's it's like your passion. This is, this is what you would want. This is what would make you happy, okay? Cancer Scorpio Pisces, I, and I know this isn't a love reading, and I just said your love readings have been off the charts. They have, they've been amazing, and this, so this could also be a new relationship for you. Or a leveling up of a current one, and look at that. We have it on the bottom of the deck here too. Let's get another one on that Ace of Cups. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Okay, so here, guys, this could be this it's a very spiritual energy it can be there's a contract out here that you're contemplating signing um it's also higher learning you could be thinking about going back to school going to college something like that taking a course if this is something that you know that you would love to do if you, you know if it's like something where you're following your heart then definitely do it um again if it's relationship this looks like it's something that could lead to marriage if you're not married already but it definitely is a higher spiritual energy and it is it's part of your path guys it's like you go through this hermit energy and you come out of it like some kind of freaking guru or something you know all right in your foundation you have the three of wands aries here this is just a waiting waiting for your ships to come in waiting to see what you should do if you should do anything if this is really going to happen for you um, it is. This can also be travel. If that means anything to you. Um, if I didn't say already, it is Aries energy. Let's see what this is here. What is this Three of Wands for Sagittarius? The Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be uh, waiting for something to happen with an air sign here. Maybe traveling to one. Um, doesn't have to have anything to do with an air sign, though, really. It could also be you taking on that energy. Um, it's really head over heart kind of energy, though. So I And I think that that's where you need to get away from. I think that, you know, you can be logical, you can be smart about things, but you can't not be following your heart either because it's going to make you a miserable person, Right? Okay, your recent past, the Knight of Swords. This is a conversation that recently happened that was really honest, really needed to happen. It is younger air sign energy again. Um, if this is a person for you, it's probably someone who's maybe in their 20s or acts like they are. It's that, that age range. Let's get one on this though, because it is a conversation. Somebody spilling truth. Two of Cups reversed. So you might have gone through a breakup actually um or you just were really somebody was expressing some kind of disconnect here in the recent past or like a dissolving of some kind of a partnership because there was just it, it was just disconnected it wasn't you guys weren't on the same level 
right? Um, whether it was a romantic relationship or a partnership. Okay, in your present, you've got the five of coins, Taurus energy. So this is some uh, rejection, abandonment, somebody feeling left out in the cold. It's also poverty mentality, and it can indicate like a homeless person. So you might be, there might be some issues here with your living situation. Um, you might be feeling some kind of rejection, abandonment, or just feeling like your money's being drained or, you know, you're having financial issues here. Let's see. What is this five of coins for Sagittarius? The Queen of Wands reversed. It's because you're not following your passion, guys. Queen of Wands reversed fire, Aries, Leo, and you. However, it's somebody who's really insecure, not going after what they want, not pursuing their passion. Real lack of motivation, insecurity issues, lack of self-worth. Um, it can also be a controlling, demanding female that maybe is a problem in your household. Um, I think it's more so, this whole reading seems to be about you needing to be yourself and once you do your life's gonna really turn around the magician yeah you see that you have everything that you need to get to where you want to be to get to what you want in life whether it's finances jobs relationship whatever you have everything that you need within you to get there you just don't have the confidence you know what i mean you don't feel like maybe you can, um, maybe you don't have the energy for it. Let's get another one here. The Ace of Swords reverse. So it's a real lack of clarity. It's confused, foggy energy. You might actually have to cut off communication with a person too because they weren't being honest. They don't know how to communicate. Um, but really, I think it's just, you have everything here that you need to get where you wanna be. But right now, I think that it's good for you to stay in this hermit energy and isolate yourself because while you have all the tools here to get what you want, your mind is too foggy. You're not gonna be manifesting at your highest because you don't have the confidence. You don't have, you don't believe that whatever you're trying to get is actually going to happen. And for it to happen, you have to actually believe that it's going to. But just wherever you're at right now, I really think that you need to take some more time and get yourself where you need to be, get back in your power so that this comes to fruition. You know what I mean? Um, and it does. You just need a minute, okay? You need a break. Here in the immediate future, you've got the king of coins, king of pentacles. So this is you being financially stable, all right? Um, this can indicate another person for you, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Um, older male energy, if it is someone else, it can be a father figure um, that's significant in your future. It can be like a husband or somebody that has those kind of qualities, but it is somebody who's really good with money, um, really stable, dependable, I mean, I kind of think it's just going to be you, you taking on this energy. Let's see, though. What's this King of Coins? The Hermit Reverse. Yeah. See, I think that because you have the Hermit up right here, this, I mean, you have Virgo twice here, if that means anything to you, but um, I think what happens is you come out of Hermit mode here. When you come out of it in the near future, you come out of it like like all bright and shiny like this. You go from the five of pentacles, which is rejection, lack mentality, to like as stable as you can get. But it's because you did that. You took the time for yourself to get where you needed to be. All right, and it's something even better here. You're also coming in here as the empress. This is beautiful, guys. Libra Taurus energy, but the empress is the queen of all of the queens in the decks, and this is coming in as you. Male or female doesn't matter. This is the energy that you have right now. Again, with the magician here, this is like full on manifestation. You can have whatever you want. The thing with it is though, there is a growth period, a gestation period, right? So it's gonna take time for these things to manifest. So don't let yourself get down um, thinking that these things aren't gonna happen. 
because they're not happening fast enough because it takes time to grow. This is planting the seeds. It's watching, watching everything that you've manifested actually happen in your real life. Um, this is abundance. It's, wo it's warmth. It's compassion. It's everything. Everything that you would want is divine feminine energy. Um, if you are somebody that's trying to get pregnant, um, good energy for that if that's what you're doing right now. All right. Um, but definitely birthing something. Something new. Okay. In your environment, you have the Four of Coins, Capricorn energy. So that's the energy of somebody's holding back or holding on to something really tightly, probably finances. You could be dealing with somebody that's like really stingy with their money and that's why you feel like a lack. Um, let's see. Maybe you're at a job and like you feel like you should have had a raise and they're just not giving it to you. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. So because somebody is either holding back in a situation here, it's causing a lot of hurt, um, but it might be that other person too. So that's also the energy of being closed off emotionally. If you're dealing with somebody that's really closed off emotionally and it's like, you know, it's frustrating, it's because they're hurt over something here, like real hurt. Doesn't mean it has anything to do with you, but they've got issues that they need to heal here. Um, a lot of mental shit going on for them. All right, your hopes and fears, you've got the Five of Wands, Leo energy. So there's some drama, there's some kind of battle, some kind of competition here, and I mean, you're hoping to win, right? Um, you're afraid that you're afraid of, of the drama, you're afraid of people getting mad, whatever. Um, let's see what this is all about. What is this Five of Wands for Sagittarius? judgment oh boy it's it's drama that you thought was done it's like maybe you had an issue with somebody five years ago you thought it was resolved it's not it's it's like an old issue coming back up it's it's an old argument coming back up um for like you know like the final judgment call here oh and the high priestess Okay, so you really need to listen to your intuition with whatever this is coming back up from the past for you. Whatever, like, you thought was dead, it's not. You really need to use your intuition with this one, with this issue, because there is a lot of drama. There is a lot of petty back and forth here. All right, your outcome, you have the two of coins, Capricorn energy here. So that's that's juggling. It's juggling finances, juggling, be, you know, just responsibilities. You're okay. You're keeping everything up here where it needs to be. You know, you're fine. You're keeping everything in balance, but it is a lot of responsibilities. You might even have like a second job or something here. Oh, and the two of swords again. So there's a definite need to make a decision here if you have too many things going on you might need to like drop one of them um but with the two of swords it's real stalemate energy it's like hesitating not wanting to make a decision maybe you have like two different job opportunities you don't know which one to pick two different ways your life could go let's see let's get another one oh my goodness and the tower so there's a major change happening for you and it's going to have you all up in your head. You don't know what to do about it here. What is this tower? What is this tower for Sagittarius? The world reverse. Something is not done. Something's not over. Unfinished business. And I think it's this issue that's coming back from the past. And I think it's going to be really shocking. Uh, somebody's going to come in with some kind of Something that's just going to like blow you away here because you thought it was done. Let's see. And the moon could have something to do with a Pisces or something like not known. Um, I mean, that's just whatever. That's what we've been talking about, right? You thought it was done. You didn't know it wasn't. There's a situation here that's kind of hidden under the surface and it's coming out. 
the five of cups somebody is focused on the past somebody's still sad over the past um and i think that it's it's kind of like somebody whether it's you or somebody else you just kind of figure that somebody was over something because it happened so long ago but they're not and it's going to cause like this blow up it's like something that's like life changing like it really could be like somebody a relationship from your past and this person coming back like i never got over you um can we try again and you're just like what the fuck what are you talking about right now you know what i mean it's that kind of ooh, that kind of energy it doesn't have to be a relationship it, it can be like a family issue or something as well all right guys you ready for your yes or no questions, Sagittarius? Take a deep breath, focus on your question. Okay, here we go. Yes or no for my Sagittarius friends? Yes or no for my Sagittarius friends? It's a no with the hanged man. It's a no and still waiting for something. All right, I hope you guys wanted it to be. Take care, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow with your next reading. Love you guys.